What's up everybody, Melissa here. Today I wanna to show you how I make my homemade little ball head head pins with a torch. So we're gonna play with fire today. So just stay tuned and I'll show you how. So today I'm gonna to make some head pins out of my bare copper 24 gauge wire. Other items you're gonna need are a butane micro torch, a little cup of water for quenching, a pair of flush cutters. I also have a pair of cross-locking tweezers. Those come in handy. And I also have a crock pot full of homemade pickle. I'll throw that recipe down in the description, so check that out below. Here I'm just gonna cut the wire to some various lengths. I like short ones and a little bit longer ones, in between an inch and a half and two inches. You can cut them to whatever length you desire. Since we're going to be lighting up the torch, make sure you wear your safety goggles. I always put up my hair too so I don't catch that on fire because that would probably go up pretty quick, I'm guessing. And I found with uh, balling up copper to hold the torch upward. And also hold your wire straight up and hold the tip of the wire right at the tip of that inner blue flame. This will help heat up the wire evenly and keep the ball pretty straight. And once you hit the size of ball you want, just throw that wire into the quenching bowl to cool off. The quenching sound is so cool, I wanted you to hear it. Once your head pins hit the water, they're pretty much cooled off, so you can grab them with your fingers. I'm going to go ahead and throw mine into the pickle solution that I've made and keep them in there for a few minutes. I checked on my head pins about 10-20 minutes later and all the fire scale had gone, so now I'm going to remove them. Step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tumble them for about an hour. This will shine them up and also work hard in them. So here's what they look like after being in the tumbler. Some of the longer ones curled up a bit so I'll just need to straighten them out with my fingers. But they turned out pretty nice. Here's one. And here's what they look like with a bead. And lastly, I bag them up so they're ready to go when I need them. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment if you have any questions, and make sure to subscribe because I make a new video each week. See you in the next one.